It's here, people. We finally got it. Ooh, goodness, I'm so glad this came in this week. Look at it, people. It's finally here. It's finally here. This is it. The new era of Beyblade is finally here. Dynamite Battle. Ooh, this box is, box is so much smaller than I, than I thought it would be. But this is amazing, people. We actually got it. Dynamite Beliel is here. This is Bell's Beyblade. And I'm just, oh, I'm just so excited to actually have this. This is going to be crazy. I don't know how it's going to work or anything like that. You got to bear with me for a little while. And we're going to get this thing open. Because I know that's all you guys want to see. You just want to see this thing right out of the box. Let's go. This is insane, people. It feels like just recently we had sparking, you know? Like, if I, I still remember when those first came out. It's, it's crazy how far we've come. In such, it feels like such a short time. It's here, people. Look at that. We got instructions. We got stickers. Stickers, I know some people love stickers. Not my favorite part. I hate putting on stickers. My goodness, I absolutely hate putting on stickers. I always do it wrong. But I seen that this baby definitely needs its stickers. Let's go. So let's rip this baby over. Let's go over the parts. Ooh, people, people, people. I am so glad it came. I wish my stadium came in as well. So it was supposed to come in yesterday, that whole dynamite battle set. But unfortunately, I didn't. So I'm going to have to spin this in one of my horrible looking stadiums. And look at this. This, I believe, this is Nexus. This thing is so high up. Look how high up this thing goes. I mean, it's supposed to be for that new, you know, for the new system that we're doing right now. But my goodness. Oh. People, are you excited? I know I'm definitely excited. You got to get yourself this Beyblade. I don't even know if it's going to be good or not. It's just, oh, it's just so cool. And this is Venture. And this is supposed to be rubber, I believe. I believe that's supposed to be rubber. And in case you want it, none of these parts moves. I know it looks like it's supposed to move. None of it moves. Dynamite Belly Elm does not have a moving tip. All right. Now let's get this. Ooh. All right, it doesn't want me to come out of the plastic. Come on. Come on, down in my belly. I got work today. I can't spend all day trying to get you out of all that. There we go. <laughs> Even without stickers, this thing looks insane. This part here is plastic, but just in case you're wondering, that's not metal. Oh, we're going to have to put the stickers on this part, too. There's going to have to be stickers everywhere. And I'm going to have to do this twice. All right, so let's first try to... Get this thing open so you push these little white parts in that loosens everything up for you. I say that and it still doesn't work. There we go. And alrighty. So we have Belial right here. We have, let's see if we can take it down. This is two. That's the thing with this part. And we have dynamite. So all together, we got a five-piece Beyblade. Let me get that all on the shots. There we go. A five-piece Beyblade. So I'm going to go put on the stickers now. When I come back, we're going to see how this thing looks, and we'll just give it a test spin. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, people, we are back. Stickers are on, and what did I tell you? This thing looks amazing with stickers. My goodness. And a little bit stressful to put on. I'm... Like, I'm not great with stickers. I, I probably should use tweezers or something, and I and my fingers are kind of big. I don't. I know that, you know, this is meant for a younger demographic, so, you know, I can't really complain that it's not built for me to handle. But, yeah, stickers are on. Got the sticker here as well. So, yeah, that was, a, that was quite the challenge. Also, I found this over here. Pretty cool. They teach you how to spin it. You know, if, in case you don't know, there are different ways you could spin your Beyblade for different results in the ring. And we have some advertisers here. I really want this, but I do not like boosters. I do not like my Beyblades being like trading cards. I'm not going to spend that much money and then not get what I want. Like, I, I get the recolors pretty nice and you're kind of like pretty much getting, but no. Th there's parts in here that I want that are exclusive to this. Here we have what I believe is supposed to be Fafnir. Which seems pretty early to me. I didn't think we would be getting Fafnir that quickly. Alrighty. What else do we have here? Something else about that. It also comes with instructions because this is a new generation of Beyblade. So you do need new instructions. So let's first get into putting this baby together. Alrighty. 
Actually, let me get to the to the meat and potatoes of this because this is a brand new system for those of you who don't know. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys do know. Let me see. So first, you click these little parts in, these little white little parts in. Then you can pretty much squeeze out your Beyblade. <laughs> I say this, but I don't know what I'm really doing. Um, bear with me for a little bit. I'm trying to find out exactly how this comes out because. Okay, yeah, so this part came in through the top, which means, which means what? <clears throat> okay, so that locks it, that unlocks it, and if that unlocks, there we go. All right, whew, all right. So there is our Beyblade pieces, and it's got two modes, a low mode and a high mode, and let's go test it out so this is for our low mode in low mode you're going to take the part that doesn't have the stickers on it put it underneath so these two little parts are sticking out then you take your chip over here make sure these little white parts are in so you can get it inside lock them in place throw in this giant thing over here and this is going to be your, I believe this is going to be high mode. Oh, wait, let's, let's try to, let's not guess. Let's, let's make sure we have it accurately in there. All right. Ooh, there we go. And, ooh, this is rough. Use the chip. Oh, wow. And look at, look <laughs> at that abomination. I mean, it's awesome. It's all metal. It's like, and I believe this is probably low mode. Can't be too sure. Well, we'll, we'll see if the other one is high. Wow. That is a rough thing to take apart. Whew. That is tight. That is really tight. I can't wait to see how well this performs. So we're going to take our chip out once more. Now for high mode, we switch it up a bit. So you're going to take this piece here. And this one is actually going to go on top. There you go. And your chip, make sure the little white little flaps are receded inside so that you can open it when it gets in here. We'll go like this. And voila. See, now it looks a little bit different. Now we'll put in so over here. Wait, is that really how it's supposed? Okay, I'm going to already guess this is going to be high mode just by how huge it looks. Um, so sorry about that. Let's try to find where we're going here. Let's try, so sorry. Okay, I usually should do this. This is usually easier for me to find out. I usually do this. Then I get it right in here. All righty. And again, it's this is definitely high mode. This is definitely high mode. Look at this thing. It's a monster. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let's spin this thing. Um, I really want my DV like set. That's supposed to come in today. In the meantime, we're gonna use the wah, wah. that's Slingshot Stadium. What else? All right, let's test it out. High mode in this thing. Three, two, one, let it rip. Not super aggressive. Ah, it hits. It hits hard. Do not put your hands in there when that thing is spinning. Maybe go underneath to get it out. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely gonna try battling with this one when we get to do state. Let's do another test launch, a hard one. Goodness, it sounds so good. Let's do this in another mode. Let's do this in the other mode. All right. I believe a, there's certain advantages between the modes. I'm just not exactly too sure of what they are. Also, if you'd notice, this Beyblade is a lot smaller than a Sparking Beyblade, which is kind of the, the whole deal. That's kind of the whole thing in the anime if you've been watching it. You know, belts changing up the meta. Big Beyblades are not where it's at right now. It's all about smaller Beyblades, center of gravity, things like that. I find it crazy how characters just make up, like, new type of Beyblades like 
they don't buy Beyblades in stores or anything. They just make up Beyblades, which is weird because there's some characters that just have like, you know, recolored like parts of other Beyblades. Yet these are Beyblades made by certain. I don't know. It's really weird. Uh, I don't know. I'm really screwing this up. Man, uh, we're getting there, people. Remember, this is a new generation of Beyblade, man. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. You know, getting used to all this stuff. Oh goodness! I'm telling you, that thing is rough. That is a tight Beyblade. All right, let's go, guys. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Low mode. Ooh. I love the way it looks. Look at it. That profile of that Beyblade is sick. Look at this. Ah, again, don't do that. My goodness. That's why Hasbro makes cheaper Beyblades with no gimmicks and hollow plastic. That thing can hurt. But you know what? At the same time, we want our competitive Beyblades. So, I don't care. You know, just don't touch it when it's spinning. That's, that's what you do. This is such an amazing looking Beyblade. I'm absolutely loving it. Well, guys, that's going to be it for now. We're actually going to do some test battles with it when I get the new stadium.